Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension, Maria here. I'm going to do a reading for Pisces. Thank you for your patience, all y'all. Thank you for your comments too. They just take a while to get out. Between the reading and the production and the, uh, the little bit of editing I do, it's about an hour and a half per video, so. Tell me about Pisces. So just my point is, is that my time is limited, so I'm prioritizing. Hmm. Tell me more. <clears throat> Somebody's trying to distract themselves. They're hiding their feelings. P Pisces, either this is you or somebody um, you're dealing with is conflicted. They have multiple choices and options. They're running hot and cold in and out, back and forth. I see the two of pentacles all over this. They juggle. They're going through an emotional storm as we speak. This person, and they might, they might even, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. I feel like they've either done some work on you, had some work done on you, or take it as it resonates, maybe you've done a spell on them. I just work here. I'm just telling you the energy. Somebody's losing hope that this is uh, going to get off the ground. You have insane chemistry. Uh, if I'm reading for a male, you're thinking about a divine feminine. That is a lot of the energy I'm feeling. Same-sex relationship, possibly. Um, or you're the divine feminine and they see you as a divine feminine. Absolutely gorgeous. Beauty. They can't get you off their mind. And they're distracted. So either, either you are dealing with somebody who's, I feel the majority of you that are watching this are a Pisces and your person that you're not, I don't believe you're in contact with this person. Um, this was a very challenging relationship. Uh, I feel like you didn't, there's lack of trust at the end and some arguing, some boundaries, mm, lots of lots of intense emotions going on with you and this person. This person's going through it. If this is, if you're the Pisces, if not, uh, your person's, um, the, your person is a Pisces for a handful of you, um, and you're watching as a cross watcher and you're going through it. That either way, this is the energy. But I feel like the majority of you are Pisces watching this. This will resonate. You're sitting in silence and you're lacking clarity or they are. You don't know, I feel like neither, I think it's maybe mutual. Neither of you really know what's going on in this situation. You're angry, you're hurt and you're bitter. Um, getting over it, you're getting over it. They're going through it and you're getting over it. I feel like you're getting over it is pissing them off, quite frankly. You're getting over it um, makes them wonder if you even cared about them to begin with. You might have even heard them say something. They're at a breaking point. I feel like they may rush in. Pisces, they might be rushing in and having a conversation. They're stuck. They are um, feeling rejected. They want to come out of this feeling immediately. They don't want to be rejected by you. That's their biggest fear. They might be at a distance. They feel like it's hopeless, there's no hope here. And and quite honestly, they're trying to find uh, a hope. They're trying to f muster up the courage to maybe even send you a text or reach out to you. It's maybe months since you guys talked and they're reaching out. Yeah, they're, they're broken. You're getting over it. If this was you, it'd be in the reverse, but it's in the upright. I feel like you're getting over this brokenness. You're uh, healing, you're healing from this. They're not, they're stuck in smack dab in the middle of, of this broken heart. Um, I think they thought that this was a break. I think they thought that this was a pause and you put a fat period at the end of this. I'm going to take this one. They're spying on you. I feel like they're, um, trying to use intuition and I feel like that's the work. I, I feel like they're going to somebody with high, le high level of intuitivity, intuitivity. I don't know if that's a word, but they're relying on somebody else's intuition. They don't trust their own. So 
they might have gone to a reader to discern where you are if you've moved on. They want to know if you're stuck like them. They want to know if you even think of them anymore. They may have asked a reader if you were their soulmate or twin. They, I, soulmate, twin flame. They're sitting in a space of sorrow. If not a reader, somebody with some gifts. How about that? They feel you're being obscure. They feel you're being sneaky. They feel that you're hiding, that you've gone ghost. I heard, you know, gone ghost, uh, meaning you're not posting as much as you do. And Pisces, I feel like you may have been a very bubbly, outgoing individual who posted everything. Like, this is the sandwich I'm eating, and these are my friends, and we're going out, and, da, da, da. and you're not doing anything. You're silent. You are, you are radio silence. Nothing is happening. And it's driving your ex nuts. They are trying to be distracted with other commitments, family, maybe work. Trying to stay busy, Pisces. I also feel like the spying might be somebody legally. Somebody is like tied up with the police. Oh, there's that curse. Yeah. So I feel like, and forgive me, I don't know if it's a curse or if somebody's trying to put a spell on you to think of them more often than you do. They're missing you. They want this back. They, they miss your energy. Definitely miss your energy, miss your friendship, miss your intelligence, miss your laughter. Mm, too arrogant to tell you. <laughs> too caught up in their own stuff and too sad. They don't want to be vulnerable and they're going to feel rejected again. I keep hearing again. Yeah, they're coming out of a space of pain. They're trying to release you. They can't. And they feel like this is, um, they're struggling with the idea of you having a past life. You might be dealing with another water sign, actually. Um, the cap. Taurus, Pisces, another Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Sag. I don't feel Capricorn is as heavy as the water signs, but maybe that's just your energy showing up. Like it's highly volatile. There, there is legal something messing. Let's, it's a barrier to it. Mm. So either your person is in the law enforcement, whether they're an attorney or a police officer or work in a courthouse or something like that. And I feel like, or they have legal issues they're struggling with because I just feel like there's an interruption to this and it has something to do with legalities. Like a, a firm boundary, a firm barrier between the two of you. Yeah, this tr person's trying to escape. They might be using chemicals. They might physically, yeah, I had influences on the bottom. Um, they're closed off to anything and they're trying to avoid stress. They're going through it. They're going through it. So Pisces, I haven't pulled a, a tarot card yet. This are all just oracle cards, but I feel like it's telling me a story. This person's in regret. This person's sitting here telling me um, they effed it up. They effed it up. They know they effed it up. They thought this was going to be a bounce back and give you guys some space. And I feel like this was a game. They wanted you to chase them. They also, not a game game, but they expected you to chase them and you didn't. And I feel like you by pulling back your energy and the longer the time frame goes that you're not engaging with this person, they're realizing it's serious. This is like a real deal. This isn't a pause. This is a, a major breakup. How am I going to go back and pick up where I left off? There might be a third party involved outside of the alcohol. Elusive. I still feel like they're, they think that you're being elusive by not telling them if you're in a relationship or posting something. They think you're in a relationship already. Um, or maybe you were in one. So that's a little bit of gaslighting I kind of get. So this person thinks that you're cheating when they're actually cheating. Or they were entertaining somebody or on the process of talking to somebody and you caught them or something. You pulled back. And now they think that's why you pulled back is that you're entertaining somebody. So they're a little... This is very childish. I got to be straight. Trapped. The whole feeling I get is that this person, two things. One, handful of you, several of your people, Pisces, are feeling trapped that they can't get out of this feeling of wanting you and they're mad about it. They're not happy about it. The other part is they didn't want to be trapped in a relationship or a commitment of any kind. And the feelings they had for you were very genuine and they're running. So that's the trap feeling. They don't feel like they can do anything. Also, um, with the legal implications, whether it's a divorce, child support, or just vicious BS going on behind the scenes, they're busy and they, I don't think that they can entertain another person or energy 
in this pile of mess. They want it all cleaned up before they come back or talk to you. They might have even told you that, that they're not capable or able to be in a relationship and you just felt like they were playing games. Maybe they were. But this trap feeling is I can't, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in my situation. I can't, once I get this figured out, I'll come out and talk to you. Karma. This person's going through a crap ton of karma, Pisces. I mean it, like a lot, a lot, a lot. I feel like um, the one thing I want to take away from this, Pisces, I don't know if you truly are soulmates because that being in the reverse kind of sticking out to me. A friend of mine once said, there's a lot of soulmates. There's a lot of soulmates. And I thought, well, that's kind of cold. And the reality is, is that person was spot on. There's a lot of lessons here that this person needs to be taught, Pisces, and you might be part of the lesson. Um, this person, I think, is struggling a little bit with the idea of the whole concept of, you know, twin flame, soulmate journey. They're trying to find peace. They're not. They're trying um, without you. They see you having walked away from this relationship and just moving on without thought, pause, and you just moved on and there's no consequences for you where they're stuck. They feel trapped. Um, they have these feelings. They're going through an emotional storm and take it as it resonates. Uh, but they feel like your relationship has some depth. And I also get it's convoluted. The depth means there's so many layers to the story, Maria. If I sat down and unpacked it for you, you wouldn't believe all the crap I had to go through is your person telling me. So they're trying to go through an awareness and try to figure out who you are to them. But more, more likely also, I guess, is that they need to understand themselves of who you are in a relationship, a spiritual relationship, um, you know, like the value, the importance you have, as well as are they willing to let go of the lifestyle and the chaser and the runner and the, the dynamics that they currently have been accustomed to, this pattern of behavior for years, are they willing to get deeper into a relationship? And, and it's like the importance of you in their life. This is like getting beyond the shallow pool and getting a little deeper in this relationship. It's the intimacy part. They need to understand the importance of this relationship. I think they are. They're stuck in a feeling of regret right now. They're going through um, the journey in their life of this relationship and saying, um, I made a lot of mistakes. I don't think they're owning them quite yet. They're, I feel like this is the kind of person that would never give you an apology. And they also lack loyalty. They want to be loyal, but they don't know how. And I feel like it's trust. It's about trust. And this person's been hurt before. Um, that's no excuse. We all have. But they got stuck somewhere along the way. And they just decided to be guarded and put their sword up. And then they're just not letting anybody near them. They want to control the narrative of this relationship. I think they're losing friends. Or they have. Pisces, I think your person's trying to figure out what's important to them. They're resistant to change. The resistance, that's the whole thing. The idea of a one-on-one -on -one relationship, the idea of another commitment. This person might be getting out of a relationship that burned them or had one a while ago and has never yet stepped into a full-fledged relationship. Not a real one. Lots of situationships, even, even maybe even engaged. But it, I gotta be straight, like this person never energetically invested in any of this garbage. It was just for show. Or they put the title on and never really, you know, it's like wearing a wedding ring but acting like you're single, you know, same vibe. Um, there you are, soulmates, they're waking up to that idea. They're waking up to the idea that, that you're their soulmate. That was what I said just like a few minutes ago. They're struggling with that though. They feel like they can, they can control their narrative and, and this person that I'm reading for thinks that they are God. I swear, it's like a mini God. I can I control my destiny. They assume that they can manifest their own abundance and their own narrative, which is true. We do have self-will, but I do believe that there are some influences by our divine creators and our tribes and our spiritual you know, ancestors, anybody that you believe in, whoever is on your side, on the other side, is trying to navigate you two to get together because there's lessons you need to learn. This person's like, uh-uh, I'm fine. I get to choose who I'm with. I get to choose my narrative. Um, I am the king of my own or queen of my own kingdom. Um, unfortunately, they're missing a lot of deeper relationships and they're living on a surface level, which is really safe or so they think, but um, they never get to experience true love. 
and they're scared. This person's super scared of getting hurt and being vulnerable and being relied on. Yeah, intimacy, they, they, re, they don't wanna be intimate. They wanna have sex, <laughs> yes, but they do not wanna have an emotional relationship. They don't want to, they don't like it. It scares them. Um, and then I have perspective, better off, happiness, and clear headspace. And they're not. They're sitting in a fog, in a state of fog. Again, somebody might be doing work on them. Somebody, I think this person is trying to do work on you. And they, so that's the weird thing is they believe in the who, you know, in the, in the secular and they believe in the spiritual. I just don't believe that they are trusting um the whole picture it's it's weird it's almost like a dark dark entity they believe in the they believe in the negative not the positive this is somebody who really likes science whoever i'm reading about believes in the idea or the concept of the universe as um a plus b equals c and there's some truth about universal laws and about manifestation this person forgot though that there was a creator that created this they I don't know. Maybe they just think they, it just landed in our lap. I don't know. Yeah, heart fog. They're stuck in a heart fog because they won't wake up. And the heart fog is safe. The chemical use, the narrative control, the how, where I put my energy, all of that is safe. And it's scary to think that they might love you. They're stuck. This person is an overthinker. Oh my gosh. Overthinker. I'm gonna pull in. I'm being told. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna to go to what's his tea. And I and I get the sense, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody who's not only a runner, um, but the, the runner gives them a sense of control. If they get into a relationship and it gets scary, they go running and they expect you to chase. <clears throat> it feeds their ego. That one flipped over. Yeah, dirt digging and bad karma. I do believe there's a person going through it. And this is the second time we pulled karma card. And I feel like this person has been in shallow relationships. And this is the irony, is when you're in a shallow relationship, you assume you're not really investing in anything. But this person, they themselves have entertained people at a shallow level, even in a commitment, what we would consider a commitment. They didn't consider a commitment, it was situational, and they just might live there with that person, or they might be in a relationship, or even a fiance, but they weren't engaged. They weren't engaged at the level, they didn't commit, right? This is the issue. Now they got a whole bunch of shallow people chasing after them, trying to find dirt. They might be also looking at dirt at you because you might be dealing with a little bit of a covert narcissist who's unhappy that you're moving forward and their little butt hurt and they're trying to find dirt. If not them, then their ex. Somebody, somebody in the shallow pool is pissed off that you're elevating. How's that, Pisces? Very, very upset. Trying to find... Yeah, somebody's trying to be threatening. Somebody's holding on to your ex and trying to be threatening. I feel like that's why they're trapped. They can't come towards you. Kind of what I was feeling. They, I feel like your ex may be in a relationship that they never intended to be in or has been in a long-standing relationship, take it as it resonates. And somehow there's another party, a third party, holding this person down, trapping them, using that air quote. And the irony here is your person, I feel has that been in this relationship and felt like they were never really committed to this. This was a situational relationship, maybe ex, ex lover, ex mama, whatever, baby mama, ex spouse, ex girlfriend, long-term girlfriend, long-term boyfriend. It was shallow. Like it was an open relationship from the jump. Now that you're moving forward or your person was trying to move forward emotionally, listen to this. And now I think throat's closing up. <clears throat> now there's all these barriers now as karma can't move forward, now I have legal trauma, now some of these are issues, drama, uh, somebody's trying to put uh, magic spells on your person or whatever, love potion, whatever they, you know, trying to manipulate them, even through sex, trying to keep that person to stay, stay with me um, and keep them trapped. Um, now they might be saying, you won't see your kids anymore. I'm gonna take you to court for more child support. Like all these things, they're just throwing one bomb in front of the next, in front of your person, trying to stop them from coming to you. This person already has enough barriers internally to move forward to come get you. They have to overcome those, but now they have additional hurdles to jump through to come to you. They're sitting in a space of thinking, you know, um, analysis paralysis, they're just constantly spinning and spiraling. 
not making a decision, not feeling like they can, wanting to, not sure it's smart, and on top of it, feeling like if they finally get through all these problems and over the hurdles, they're finally gonna come to you and you're gonna reject them because they don't have enough, they're lacking. That's a lot, I know. Legal issues, can't make it up. If I am not your favorite reader, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's a lot of really good readers out there. I watch a, a lot of them too. So the vibe I get from this person is they're almost at the breaking point of making a decision of what do they want? What do I desire? What am I going to go after? This person historically has been a people pleaser or a per, what do we call it? I don't call it people. I call it a, a ten, uh, approval seeker. They've been constantly looking for validation through other people and now they're stuck. They don't want to be where they're at and now they've talk themselves into a relationship they don't want to be in. Now they have other issues and these shallow people are pissed off that this person's moving forward and they're going to come get them. I have giving money. That's the vibe I get. Somebody's holding on to your person for financial security. There's a shallow person who's still tied to your person, Pisces, who won't let go because it's a paycheck. I'm going to keep it real. That's the surface. I, it's, a, it's a quid pro quo. I see you Tuesday, Thursday. You help me out with the kids or pay the rent or the car note or whatever. That's the vibe I get off this whole read. There's a lot of like hooks into your person that they got to undo. And their fear of coming towards you is fearing of rejection. You might have a, um, I feel like this might be an interracial relationship. Um, handful of you might be same sex, like I said. There's just a lot of high level risk at, involved. Um, I feel like you're trying to dust it off. Your person's trying to dust it off all the challenges and the hurdles they're sitting. Your person's using this um, as a spiritual awakening or the divine is trying to get your person to wake up to say, what do you want? Tell me what you want, direct us. You haven't made a choice yet. You've been the passenger in your own life. Let's get in the driver's seat. So that's where I feel like your person has always thought they were in the driver's seat. That's the irony. Your person thought that they were driving the ship because they felt like as long as I don't get in a commitment, I'm playing a mini God. I'm in, I'm in control. I'm in charge. And the whole time they're being played by other people. Big smiles. They're pretending to be happy. Every time you see them, talk to them, you see them, um, they're pretending everything's fine. Their life is falling apart. Let me tell you. One more card, please. Pisces. The reality is they're into you. They don't know why they can't get past you. They don't know why they keep sabotaging relationships. It's really good chemistry. You good. You have a foundation. So the, re, the reality is, is you and this person created a foundation. You're friends first. You had that four of wands already in place, mortar, sand, c cement, right? And you built this foundation on a real friendship as you should. The rest of these relationships are quick and in and out, hit it and quit it kind of relationship that are dragging on and hanging on and it got too long and this person became dependent on the energy and vice versa. And several of these anchors that are holding your person down are keeping them down because of financial restraints, fear of financial loss, security purposes, mostly financial, mostly security and energy. And energy. So your person isn't not elevated. They're just not spiritually elevated to the level you are. So your person, although they have finances and they got their life together, it looks good, they are solid, they're stable, they have a home, they have a car, whatever. This person that's carrying the bag, per se, um, or at least that's perception, right? They're carrying the bag, they're, so, they're solid and stable, Pisces. You're, the hanger-ons like want more. They just want more security out of your person. They're, they're feeling trapped. And that, that's it. All right. So I'm going to listen more often. My spirit's like, move on. Tell me about Pisces. First one out. Miserable. They feel like they lost you. You were the Ten of Cups. They're sitting in the reverse. They feel like this is, um, they're not going to be able to come after you. They sabotage this. Your person is emotionally stunted. Sorry. I'm going to keep it real. And it's not their fault. They just don't know how to cope with um, guilt or remorse. So they just sit in it and they pretend and put on a smiley face, pretend nothing's wrong, but internally they're dealing with guilt and shame and self-pity for me. And they might even turn it around. This is a gaslighter where um, they don't know, they wanna blame everybody else. Sorry, I'm gonna call it, sorry cross watcher, but it feels like this person that Pisces is dealing with tends to victimize themselves a little too often. Um, but you know the truth and you can see through them. Tell me more about Pisces. I'm being told to do that. Tell 
Tell me more about Pisces. On the floor. No way. So yeah, they're going to rush in. They don't want you to know. This is the vibe. They would love to rush in and have an honest conversation and fight for this relationship. This is an aggressive, assertive action. They might say, why aren't you caring about me? Why are you have me blocked? This, that, and the other, or vice versa. But that's the energy coming in. Um, but they don't want to do, they're just thinking about it. They're not rushing in. They're not standing up for what they believe in. There's no action to this yet. They want to take action because they're miserable. They see you happy and they're miserable and they're watching you get away. Here we go. There's a fool wanting to jump in. Tell me about this fool for Pisces. Is this guy going to act or this woman going to act on their feelings? They might have a conversation. It's going to be flirty and it's going to be surface and it's going to be sexual. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is going to be somebody who doesn't know how to be. They want to be intimate. They miss your intimacy. They miss your chats. They miss your talk. You're best friends. You're close to it. They see you as one of their closest friends. They still call you one of their closest friends. If somebody said, who's your best friend? It's Pisces, like without a doubt. Even, you might not even talk to this person for a year. They still think you're like the best friend. They invested a lot of real information, real feelings, real thoughts, energy, thought, pr like prayers, wishes, dreams with you. Not doing a damn thing. It's King of the Wands, pity party, self-pitying, and uh, Page of Swords. Wanting to have an honest conversation, not quite ready to take an action step. And um, yeah, I think, mm, if you're on, cause I have the, I have the page of swords, which can also be the spying. And I also got the spying card too. So I feel like this person, if you have a platform or somehow you're posting things, this person's watching your page and they are jealous. It's an MB card, so high level of jealous, or their person is, so take it as it resonates, Pisces. Somebody's super jealous of your blow up, your glow up, and they see that you're moving, you're fine. They're not fine, you're fine, and they're not happy that you're fine. And they're really kind of angry. So like I said, gaslighter, like you blew this up, and you didn't, you just put a boundary up, I feel. And here comes karma. They see you as wish fulfillment. They also see you as healing. They miss that healing energy, that feeling of feeling nurtured. Your level of love, your level of commitment, your level of passion, unprecedented. Nobody can touch it. Nobody can touch this, Pisces. And um, they know that they didn't give enough. They're super conservative and holding back. Um, and that was their downfall. They didn't match your energy and that's part of the reason why you pulled back. They are looking back at all of this. They're looking at all the pentacles that you invested, your relationship. They might be a handful, might be um, have distorted thinking about how much they brought to the table, but somewhere inside they know that they didn't bring, they didn't match yours. You and and they might be going through, especially with legal issues. I feel like extreme financial loss, like whatever they have in the bank, is they're just watching it day by day dwindle down. They're paying out lawyer fees. They're paying out fines. They're paying, like things are breaking in their home or on their property and they're having to invest in that out of pocket. Um, they know this is karma. They're not dumb. They know they're going through this for how they treated and they ran from you and you were the real deal. And they are trying to be everybody's hero by giving people money. That's another reason is they can't make a decision. They can't defend themselves. There's nothing they can say to stand on that is gonna defend themselves. And and it wouldn't be negative if they did, they'd say, you know what, I think this is enough. I don't need to give to this. I need to figure out what I want and go after it. That's the whole thing. This whole message I feel is, I'm sorry, but it's, it's for your person, not really you. They're wanting to come back and redo this with you. They are stuck with codependent people that are relying on them for financial bank. Not even kidding. That's this energy. They wanna come and redo this because they have a queen of pentacles in the reverse who's needy. Like a queen of pentacles in the upright runs her kingdom. She's sharp, she's got her game going, she doesn't rely on anybody, pays her own bills. Um, and she's solid, she's a pre-empress, right? In the upright, in the reverse, completely codependent, can't can't tie her shoes, <laughs> can't. She needs, she needs help opening a stick of gum. You know, that's the vibe I get, is this babe, 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 very needy, very codependent, clingy, clingy. Your person can't stand it. And that's ironically, 
the whole the whole bye bye guys this guys this i serious i'm just telling you they're like mario you don't understand you aren't gonna believe the story if i told you if you had a day and then they go kind of like telling me that i have i've invested in all these really cute people that I, that I was sold that they were solid and stable and, you know, had their shit going on. And all of a sudden I'm with them and they're a total mess. And now I'm stuck in these relationships where I'm helping them. And I was hoping to get some help. That was a feeling. I was looking for an equal partner, maybe not dependent. I mean, I think, I really do think your person, Pisces is stable and solid. They don't need anybody's assistance, but they're handing out money like they're a money tree. They want to come and offer you this opportunity. At some point, however, yep, this is judgment. So I do feel like like the universe is stepping in and it's a major arcana saying, okay, we're calling, we're calling it. We're gonna throw in the towel for a minute, put a pause on the spiraling of this person, um, and we're gonna intervene. We're gonna put it on their heart to come and approach you for a relationship and make it understand that this is what they needed to do way back there before they sabotage this. Um, that's what they're thinking about. That's what this whole message is about with the fool. They're gonna come off originally as sexual. That's that's all. That's our language. Sorry, that's our language. Flirtatious. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. As long as you know what it means is that they want to have a relationship with you. They might be afraid to tell you. They're really afraid of rejection. You're dealing with an undercooked chicken here. You got an emperor in the reverse. You have the two of wands in the reverse. Yep, they haven't made a decision. Haven't quite grown up. They don't think that you think of them at all. They think that you've moved on. Um, they. Uh, this was on the side. So they're stuck in having a conversation about offering this relationship to you. Um, they're stuck in relationships. I have the the hangman in the reverse, the chariot in the reverse, and the devil. So they're spiraling out of control. That's what the chariot in the reverse means. I, I in, the, in the upright, the chariot is full game, straight ahead, with the passion, like going for it. Everybody has a plan, go. In the reverse is we're going, we have no idea where we're going. It's kind of chaotic. It's a little bit out of control. I feel like I'm powerless. That's his feeling. So this person's feeling powerless without direction, hangman in the reverse, because they won't slow down and put themselves forward. What do I want? That's what the hangman is. And then the devil is, I'm, I'm tied. I'm stuck and tied to a pattern of living that I thought was my best intention moving forward and how I've always played. And now it's biting me in the ass, really. Last card, I lack strength. They want to have the strength. They're looking for strength. They're in the process of praying, I feel. I feel like a lot of them are praying, um, asking their tribe and their divine, what do I do? What should I do? Should I go back? Like, they don't trust their intuition. They don't at all. Like, their intuition, I think, is gone. They want to undo the Ten of Swords. You, they feel you've moved on. They think that you've completely forgot, like, oh, that's some dude or a chick I used to know. Like, like super surface. They don't think that you're important, or, you know, that you, that they carry any weight in your life. And the reality is, Pisces, you wouldn't be watching me unless you thought of this person every minute of every day. You're stuck is just as bad as they are. Uh, high Priestess in the reverse, not using intuition. I feel like their gifts have been stripped. I do. Pisces, I feel like this person is abused. Um, and again, if they went to a reader, that's the vibe I get. If they were participating in something to stick or stop this relationship, um, you moving forward, they can't do that. And unfortunately, it's going to be karma after karma after karma, and it's going to continue. So this is one of the karmas, is lack of intuition, lack of intercessory. This person, my fear is, is your person or the people they're involved in are completely unprotected, which is not good. Um, and it's divination abuse all over this. That's what we call it. Misguided. Selfish. Selfish outcomes, trying to manipulate the outcome. Stuck in that in that devil in the ties. This person doesn't feel free. They feel stuck, and they're just constantly every day trying to overcome obstacles. Right, every day they feel like you've moved on, and they're stuck. They can't communicate. And again, um, the eight of wands in the upright is racing in text, text, text. You know, email, call. Um, in the reverse is doesn't even feel like you want to talk to them. Doesn't think that you would answer the call if they did. This is allowing them to go in and review these third parties, right? And evaluate those and kind of step out of them and uh, fight for what they want. They're going through a five of swords or fighting with the third parties. This is somebody who um, had a relationship. I think there's three to four, possibly five historically, possibly same, se same sex with one. They're arguing with 
heard the word coven. So either your person's involved in this. This is the shallowness. Yeah, can't make it up. Third. <laughs> Three of cups in the reverse and the ace of wands also in the reverse so i feel like this person is now celibate possibly not acting out sexually with these three parties they're holding back passions they're not coming forward um with anybody they're sitting in a period uh or at least that's what they're facing so a lot of you are on different timelines so is your person so take it as it resonates but i think that your person's pulling back all their energy they're either watching readings getting readings they're waking up. This is what was necessary for the ego death to happen, to get in the right seat on the bus and become a co-creator and not just the only creator. Um, so I think that's weird, but I think it's almost like an agnostic, like they do believe in a creator and they do believe in the divine. They do believe, no, not the divine. They do believe they're the divine, but they do believe there's a power greater than themselves, but they haven't stepped from bridge to shore in investing in their faith. Like they just think like when they pray, their prayers hit the ceiling. They don't think anything's out there listening. Um, and that's the vibe. This person is losing faith in um, anything stable. They feel like you've moved on. It keeps going to like you, you've let go of the stability of this relationship. Tell me about Pisces. It's, a, it's kind of a painful time right now, Pisces for your person. Yeah, they're at the Hierophant on the on the side, so they're wondering if they, what they should invest in. That's the energy. They're not a traditional person by far. They never have been. They don't want, I feel like they feel uh, traditional relationships end up in pain. <laughs> it is, maybe it has in their life, but I feel like they would be sacrificing pleasure, um, happiness, joy, if they were to commit to one person. And the irony is they've committed to everybody else and they're in horrific sadness and deep regret and, and depression because all they've ever wanted was somebody, like a ride or die. They only wanted one true friend who to love this, to love them. And they've ended up with a handful of half in, half out energies. None of them would get up in the middle of the night to come get this person. I feel like they even talk about this person behind their back. Like, this is a distorted group. I'm just saying. It's falling apart. Magic. They don't, they also lack security. They're seriously insecure. So in the upright, it's, I have everything I need to go in and be the person I need to be. I have all the tools. I have the self-esteem. I have the resources. I have the gifts. I have the, you know, I can go get what I want. In the reverses, I'm lacking everything. I don't have anything to offer. And this person's going to reject me. Heavy level of rejection. Fear of rejection. All over this. Anything else, Spirit? And they're going through it. Yeah. Um, they are going to come forward at some point. I don't know how clear that King of Swords is going to be with you about what they want. I think they're going to have a conversation or at least start one. It might be three or four, actually. It might be... Like they can only handle a little bit as it comes through and they process it and understand it and then they can present it to you. And it might be over a period of time, but this is a slow awakening. There might be a queen of wands. You might be the queen of wands. Um, very, that's how they see you, very sexual, very um, passionate, giving, kind, and assertive with your own life. This queen usually is independent, um, doesn't require a king, has a king of wands next to her side, but doesn't require him. And... Uh, just very, they, they might see you as very um, sexy. <laughs> Yay, go Pisces. But, um, or it could be a third party. I don't think maybe a handful of you it might be a third party holding this person down. Lots of energy, y'all. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. They know that there's an injustice. That's a tower. Their injustice is they're having an awakening that they are, they are the ones creating the problems in their life. And they're feeling there's an injustice for all the people they've helped and supported. And they're in pain and alone. And 
they feel like an injustice has occurred. Also, they've given you an injustice because like that's the epiphany is that all the things that they've cried out, the injustices and I'm going through court and I showed up and I did all the right things. I'm a good mom, I'm a good dad, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, I got a fist to the sky, like I'm, I'm doing what I should have done. And um, the sending out energy of being wishy-washy um, is now making, they're making a decision. Um, yeah, they're pretending to be okay, but the injustice is they know that they've done the dirt. I don't know what else to say. They know they've done the dirt. They know they're going through karma. Um, that's their four of swords. They're sitting in a space and they're, this is their mindset right now is they're like, God, I really should have been honest. Gosh, I really shouldn't have done this. That's a vibe. So full of anxiety, full of anxiety, fear of the outcome of every area in their life. Financially, should I move? Should I stay? Should I take the job? Should I go with that girl or guy? What should I do? I think there's just always been on, this person has a lack mindset and it's like, it's not their fault, it's their culture. And I think that this person is trying to elevate, but every decision they're making is self-centered. I know that sounds crazy because it should be, we should put ourselves first when we're making a decision and they historically have it, but they're not, they're just going after the, ba the bag, right? They're just going after the money. So they're not really considering what do I want down, like if I make this choice, how will that impact me five years from now? They're not seeing that. Some of them are, not many. Not having the, they might be spying. Again, this is kind of reiterates the spying, but not being able to be truthful with themselves or with you. And again, it's, it's lacking knowledge on what they want. So if I knew what I wanted, I could create a strategy to go get it. But if I don't know, I'm going to be like throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. You know, I'm just going to try something. And I feel like that's what I feel like this person's doing. They don't have a strategy. They're not looking farther past their nose. And so they're just trying to constantly fix a symptom. You know, when you're sick, I'm in healthcare. And when people decline um, as they age, they go to the ER for symptom management. That's all they're doing, really. They're, they're just managing their symptoms. I can't breathe, I need an inhaler, I need an antibiotic, et cetera, et cetera, because they're sick and they're, you know, they're declining. Um, and that's what this person's doing is they're doing symptom management in their life versus just going and treating the illness. They're treating the symptoms. So. We might not be done with this person, Pisces. You might have a little bit more work to do. Yeah, they're in room. You're recovering. I'm telling you, you have, you're elevating. You're recovering. This person's trying to, and again, it's the best they can with the, with the state they are. They might have had to pay out a lot of money to get these people off their coattails. Um, they might have gone to court and they have an increased expectation. I do believe there's a handful of folks, Pisces, you're dealing with, they're in court and they're gonna go, they're gonna win. There's been injustices, especially by the person who's trying to hold on to your person. There's like ex, ex lover, ex, somebody they're going to court with over kids or financials, something. Money, there's definitely, it's just money. I don't know if there's really kids involved, but there's money. They, they have kids with the person, but I think this is just an inheritance or. I don't know, value, maybe it's stocks. I'm not sure. So somebody's gonna try to come after somebody else. They're not in a relationship with anybody else. I think what they thought was their soulmate isn't. That's probably why the soulmates are here twice and one's in the reverse, is they they know of soulmates, but they re resist it. And that's why, is I think they thought that that first person was their soulmate and they got robbed, essentially. They got taken for. They don't feel like they're gonna be victorious, but God, they sure want to. They sure want to. They wanna come in and make it right with you. I just think they lack strength. Yeah, they don't think you're gonna entertain them. All right, I'm um, being told, that's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave it as, what would they say to you, Pisces, if they could? So, several of you guys are in healthcare. A lot of sales. I am feeling a lot of sales are kind of customer service. I have the beauties. I, I like a hairdresser or esthetician or nails, something like that. Somebody's in the beauty industry. Somebody's in IT or uh, development, um, creative design. Like you make websites. Um, those are really heavy on my heart. Several of you work outdoors, believe it or not. 
You do. You work outdoors. A um, lot in the restaurant field. Chefs, cooks, maybe host, hostess, but I feel like I see a kitchen. So there's several people that have, or passions, I guess, about it. So that's, if it, if it makes sense, let it resonate. Several are in the financial industry. So many things remind me of you. This person is trying, to, it's a four of swords, right? Like they're trying to discern who you are to them. How, like a real soulmate, not a fake one. It's a lot. I regret lying to you. I hide behind material things. Boom! I heard a mic drop on that one. And that's a lot of the overworking right now, the consistent working. And the material things is, uh, I'm doing okay. My life is fine. Thank you very much. Um, look at my possessions. My possessions are an indicator of how well I'm doing in my life. Check it out. Um, you care less about this stuff and more about the human. You and I were too young. And the you and I were too young. This might be a childhood sweetheart. This also might be a long standing in and out relationship. And you both matured. You both have been kind of being grown in this relationship. Pisces. What else? I need a few more things. I feel you leaving me behind. That's the energy all over this. This one's in reverse. It says you came, you came closer than anyone. And that is a concern. They did not want you to get close. And you did. And I feel like they regret it. They don't like it. They don't like being vulnerable. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lots of ego. And it's false ego. It's not real pride. It's false. It's just protection. That's all. We all have it. This person's is just right. Like right here in my face. I'm like, okay, thanks. I look for you everywhere. Some of you are um, in the flight industry. I saw that too. I felt like a flight, a stewardess, something like that. You fly for a living or you commute a lot. You have a, maybe you're a regional and you go to a lot of places. You're managing a lot. But I feel like this person <clears throat> is hoping to see you in the, uh, in, like in the airport. If you're in a large, like a, 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 I work at a hospital, one of them, one of the, well, not anymore, but I used to work at a large system. And if I were, I, I managed multiple hospitals. So this person might think similar, like being a similar vein and hopes to see you like get off the elevator or go in the parking garage or whatever on the unit. So something like that, there's like, they're looking for you. They're like, gosh, I wonder what she's wearing today or he's wearing today. I wonder if he's gonna be here today, that kind of thing. Anything else for Pisces? I'm afraid to contact you. It's the vibe I had, they're stuck. And they're afraid of rejection. I wish I could take back my words and I can't stop thinking about you. So this person's like constantly spiraling in a circle, um, overthinker. Um, you know, it's okay, Pisces. I think this is what is required um, for your person to develop uh, deeper relationships. If you were to rush in and try to make this right, it would fall apart anyways. This is the trajectory of the relationship. Your person needs to figure out what they want and go after it. And that's what Spirit has been trying to wake this person up to and deepen their relationship with their creator so they can withstand challenges down the road. Trust me, whoever's doing the magic work, whether it's your person or not, there will be karma to pay. I think there, there might be a little bit. Um, and there's nothing wrong with going to a reader, but it's absolutely wrong with trying to manipulate an outcome on somebody else's life. And there's, there's some rules you can't break, and that was that's one of them. You can't force self-will. We're all given self-will, and it's a gift. So if this resonates, I'm sorry. And um, yet, you just know I have you in my prayers. Lastly, before you leave, please consider hitting that subscribe and that um, notification bell because several of my clients have said, hey, I'm not getting notified when you put stuff up, etc." So just make sure that it's turned on if you are wanting to know when I upload information. I'm also offering personal reads, description of how to get a hold of me and to schedule your own appointment is in the description box. And until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.